Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Antonio uh, from Wattix, and today in this short webinar, we are going to talk about how to upload kilowatt hour data to your Wattix analytics platform through CSV files. Okay, the first thing to do is to log in into your secure Wattix platform and to look at uh, the breakdown tab <coughs> to see where to upload this new data. Uh, in, uh, in our breakdown tab, uh, I have two organizations. One is called Educate Together, and it has one school inside, and another one is Food Corporation. Let's assume we want to add new data for a new school called Hogwarts School, which many of our kids will probably know, uh, and to create a new uh, site called School and upload data from the main, for the main incomer that we have in a CSV file. Okay, We're going to go to Data where we find our data uploader, which has five steps, user, organization, site, meter, and file. The first one is to choose the user to associate the data. I want the data not uh, to, for a new user, but I want to add it to my email address, to, so to my account. Second steps is to add a new organization. In this case, I don't want a new organization. I want to add it to the Educate Together School. And uh, in here, I will have to select Educate Together and click Next. Uh, yes, it is a new site. It's called Hogwarts. Okay. And it's located in Ireland. The county is Dublin. Um, the address is 1 Gryffindor Avenue. Uh, address uh, number 2 is, is in Dublin 8. And we click Next. At this point, we have to choose the meter uh, name. We call it main incomer. The type is electricity. The unit is kilowatt hour. Step, the last step, number five, is to choose the file format to upload. CSV is the file that we want to upload, and we choose the file which is located in my desktop, and it's called kilowatt hour data export CSV. Once I select this file, there, are, there is another uh, set of configuration that we have to finalize. The first one is to indicate if the file has a header or it doesn't have a header. You can view uh, the original data in preview mode uh, down here. So yes, it has a header. The field delimiter is auto and we want to start at line zero. Um, we have to choose the date and time configuration uh, if they are joined or if they are split. In this case, as you can see here, date and time are in split in two columns. So we're going to choose this. The date format is day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. And the time format is hour, hour, minute, minutes, and second, second. Okay. Then we have to choose the corresponding columns for each field. So basically, here we have to map uh, the date, time, values, and cost. You can actually import also cost in the currency where the site, the, the country uh, of the site. And uh, in here, you can view the preview, uh, in preview, the parse data. At the moment, the parse data, uh, there is nothing because we haven't done any mapping. But as we go back here and we start mapping the date with the date, the time with the time and the values uh, that we want to import with the third column, which is kilowatt hour data and the cost, which is the interval cost. And we switch to preview parse data. Now we can see some, uh, some data here that is going to be parsed. We need to check whether the data that we are going to process is the correct one, which in this case it is. So we're going to proceed. Um, we go through this uh, confirmation uh, file where the system asks us, okay, if we are sure, we have to authorize a subscription uh, to be created for this new data point. Um, and once we confirm, the system starts uh, uploading the file and parsing all the data that is within the file. Uh, and then it will give us a, a green light or a red light, so an error or a success of the upload. 2,900 measurements points have been processed, so we can close this. Uh, we go back to our dashboard, the breakdown tab, and now hopefully we have another school called Hogwarts. And if we look inside, there is the main camera. And if we click on the main camera, we have the file that we have ported with the data. That's great. So um, if you go on our website and if you look at our docs, um, you can search our knowledge based CSV upload and that will bring 
uh, you to a page where you can see step by step what I've just discussed in this short webinar. Thank you for watching and uh, uh, be sure to get in touch with us if you have any uh, problem issues or any queries. Thank you. Have a great day.